YouTube, welcome back to another tutorial. It's been about a good four months, I believe, since our last one. <laughs> so yeah, we're back with another one. This time we're going to be focusing on the neck. I'm going to go ahead and give and draw out the basic shapes of the head on the canvas. The first one here is our front view. I'm going to go ahead and get that all sized down and move it over. And then I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the next one, which is going to be our three quarters view. Get that all drawn out of the way. That doesn't quite look right. It will do. Maybe? No. No, it won't. I don't like it. I'm sorry. It looks too to the side. All right. Um, hopefully now we've got this. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, there's our three quarters view. We go ahead and make this a little bit smaller too. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the last one, which is our side profile view. So let's see, let me see if I can get this on here properly without making any more mistakes. <laughs> Draw the thing. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Now that we've got them all drawn, um, I'm gonna go ahead and resize them really quick. And I'm gonna add in the general idea of the neck silhouette shape thing I'm doing. And uh, we'll talk about it more in more detail in a sec um, once I'm done. So there's that one, and then there's this one. Coolio. Okay, done. Alright, so the first one we're going to start with is the front profile view. And just to get this out of the way, um, necks come in all shapes and all sizes. And today I'm just going to generalize a feminine and a masculine type of neck. Um, usually feminine necks are stereotypically described as being thin and slender, you know, um, and are usually longer in appearance, while masculine necks are stereotypically more broader and, like, stouter um, than feminine necks, so they're a little bit shorter looking. Um, plus they have an Adam's apple, you know, and their, like, tendons are more pronounced than a female. But yeah, yeah, don't forget, you guys can always mix and match shapes. Um, of the necks to a face shape because jeans don't always play by the fucking rules, okay? So like, yeah. And then there's obviously more reasons like if you're trans, LGBTQA, um, uh, androgynous, etc, etc, you know? Yeah. So there's all that stuff. Um, so moving forward, we've got our two necks in their simplest form. <laughs> um, Let's see, and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the feminine neck first. Um, you could leave it as is, up at, like at the top and stuff like that. Um, but if you want, you could step up your game just a tad bit. You want to could add in a tenon line like the second one, or if you really want to go a bit more detailed than that, you can give more shading, uh, add more details to the neck, etc. You know, and then the same can basically be said for the masculine neck um, you could leave it as it is or if you want you could add in more details obviously like more detailed you could add in the Adam's apple um, and the tendon line if you haven't done it already like I did in the first one I don't know it's just it's just what we'll call it for me just nature to do it so yeah so like there's the Adam's apple you could do that you could get a little bit more detail of like how I did with the feminine neck we added in the shading, added in both tendon lines, you know, etc. That's it's completely up to you how detailed you want to get, um, especially on the shading and stuff like that. Like, that's a preference thing. I have a tendency to get a little bit detailed sometimes in my sketches. Um, so I get, like, semi-detailed on some things. So, yeah, yeah. I'm weird like that, but that's, that's up to you. It's your prerogative. You do you, boo. Yeah, that's the basics of the front view um, for the neck. Obviously, you see more detail when you're looking at someone straight ahead. 
Um, so yeah, now we're going to go ahead and shift our focus to the three quarters view. And I'm not going to lie, this is probably my favorite position to put the face and like the body in. And it, I don't know, it always seems like less staticky for me. Um, don't really know how to explain that, but yeah. Anywho, so I'm going to go ahead and sketch out the silhouettes really quick for our feminine and our masculine necks. If I can get this right. <laughs> ah. But anywho, let me get this fixed really quick. Um, that just... Yeah, I need to get this fixed really quick. Hold up. <laughs> ah, can I do this? Can I do this? I don't know, man. I don't know. There we go. Okay. Okay, I think. Um, alright. Alright. <laughs> We're back on track. Okay. So, like, here we go. Got the basics for this one sketched out again. Um, if you guys can see, I am leaving uh, the way that the neck falls from the, uh, the back of the head. Um, you know, that's because you should... Yeah, that's, that's basically the way the neck falls, is like just follow the back of the head. Um, some people have more of a curve, um, some people are flatter. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's always interesting. Um, almost done though. So, one thing about uh, this view that I like is um that you're able to see like more of one side um how do you how do you explain this like i don't know just the view i just mm, mm. <laughs> i don't know like i said it's more strategy but anywho now that we've got the basics all sketched out again um i guess uh the the view on everything starts to shift. Obviously, you'll see like one uh, more of one side versus another. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I really have to say. Like on on the changing of it, and it doesn't matter which direction you're going. Um, it works on both sides, obviously. So, yeah. But let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller, and. Like I said earlier, you can get as detailed as you want, so like you can add in uh, the tendon in the neck, etc. if you want to. Um, and because you're only really seeing more of one side versus the other, uh, you could just add in like simple shading. You don't have to worry about like fixing up the other side, which is kind of why I like this. <laughs> and then moving on to the masculine one. We're going to go ahead and do the same. So this is up to you style wise. So like I'm putting like three different ways like where you have the basic, you have a little bit of detail and then a little bit more detail. Like I'm not getting full into realism here, but you know, you get the point. Um, yeah. So it's up to you how detailed you want to go with your drawing. And all that other good stuff. I'm just showing you guys the basics for right now. <laughs> or at least how I get in for my style and all that other stuff. Taking you guys through the steps of my style. So yeah. Yeah. So this is basically uh, our three quarters view for the neck. So our last view after this is going to be our side profile view. This is where you're only going to see half of the properties of the neck, so not the full side thing, just one half. So yeah, yeah. And let me go ahead and adjust this, make this a little bit smaller before we get started. Okie dokie. Do I need to adjust this or is this enough size? I think it's enough size. I think. I think. Mm. I think it should be enough room. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna wing this. 
<laughs> okay, so can I do this with doing a shortcut or no, no, no. Okay, I really need to stop trying to shortcut this because like I need to sketch out everything for the shape of the head. Uh, I don't know why I do this to myself. Please ignore me and learn from my struggles on what not to do. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, we're back, I think. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm starting to draw the back of the neck, and you guys should see that, you know, why I drew the neck the way that I did in the Three Sported View, because the back of the neck is formed at the base of the skull in the back, and then it comes to like uh, where the, the the back of the chin or like where the jawline and the chin blend together, kind of. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but yeah, it's in that area. <laughs> um, anyway, so I got one silhouette drawn out. I need to go ahead and fill out the other one and we should be good. These same principles and everything applies. I mean, in all honesty, just one's thicker and stouter. Um, then when you've got both silhouettes drawn out and stuff, like, you can get as detailed as you want. In this view, you're literally only seeing half of the details that you would, like, in the front view. Um, so yeah, compared to, like, the other views, I mean, you're going to only see a lot less. So... You can be as detailed as you want to be up to this point. Um, like I said, everybody's style is different, so yeah, you do you. But this is practically the end of our tutorial, so yeah. I just want to thank you guys for sticking through this video, especially if you've made it this far listening to my sick ass. Um, I hope that you guys were able to learn something new from this tutorial, or if it was the basics for you, that you were able to sit down for a bit to enjoy doing some quick studies alongside with me. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will be back next month with another tutorial in which I plan on teaching you guys how to draw the torso. But before I go, I just want to say a thank you to my wonderful patrons, Kitty Katori, Chance Rutledge, Matthew Reynoso, Celeste Olive, Vincentius, Roy Parker, Andrew Martinez, Corrosive Cherry, Garrett Johnson, Ray Parker, Addercap, and Rhiannon for making this tutorial possible. You guys are amazing and thank you so much. Anywho guys, have an awesome day and I will catch you guys later. Bye!